All right, so hello and welcome to the second video on this channel. Um, as I told you in the last video, which was my first one, um, today I'm going to make a video about scrapping this massive 50 kilo transformer. And um, I've got some, got a few things that I um, want to talk about when it comes to scrapping this down, because it's definitely going to be a lot of work. And um, yeah, it's going to be a first for me, because I've never scrapped one down that looks like that. Um, so we've got... In total, we'll say like four, maybe four and a half um, of these spools of solid copper. I mean, this, all all of this stuff here, all solid copper, so that's very, very good. Um, this one is about twice as big as these, so that's why I said four and a half. Uh, it's not really four and a half, but you get what I mean. And um, what my plan is now is I'm just going to cut this thing basically everywhere. I mean, I'm probably going to do two cuts on each of these spools um, to just be able to pull it out somehow. Um, going to be a challenge, but I think it's going to yield a lot of copper, so it's most likely going to be worth it. Um, I'm going to try to do the same for all of these spools. I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to um, do this middle one in there. I don't know if you can even see that, but there's a very big middle one in there, and um, yeah, that might be an issue but uh, yeah we'll see how that goes um these steel cores aren't solid steel these are um like basically this material which is just wrapped around multiple times and then um fastened with some sort of fastening mechanism and some bolts there so um we could also completely take that apart but i don't think i want to do that um but we'll see if it doesn't work i guess we might have to um yeah but i'm gonna try to cut it first and I'll talk to you then when I cut all of it and then we'll try to take everything apart, maybe use an air hammer and stuff like that, or maybe just a normal hammer, we'll see. But um, yeah, I would say, let's go with it. Okay, so um, I did the first cut. The problem we've got right now is that that took me like legit, it's still very hot, um, that took me legit like 10 minutes of just cutting and I've got a pretty powerful angle grinder um, with a good disc on it and that just took forever you can see how thick that is it's at least like i would say three centimeters so about an inch for all of you american viewers well presumably um that i have any viewers at all but you know what i mean and um i just don't know if i'm gonna do that on the other side as well or if i'm just gonna try to pull that through <sighs> i don't know yet to be honest um, because this is gonna be a lot of work to cut that i'm gonna uh, I'm really gonna spend some money on, on cutting discs. Well, I guess it's gonna be worth it though in the end. That's what I hope it is. So, we'll see. And, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut this one next. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna weigh all of this separately from all the other copper I recovered today, and we'll see how much this single transformer actually yielded. And, um, yeah, as I said, I hope it's gonna be around about 17, 16, 17 kilos. Um, if not, well, then I guess not. But we'll see. All right, so um, I cut two more of these spools and uh, it looks pretty good right now. These are uh, kind of loose. As you can see, you know, they, they are moving. So I'm going to try to remove uh, one or two of these coils and see if I can get uh, to this massive middle coil so that I can cut that in a safe way and not have uh, the angle grinder jam on me all the time. So um, I'm going to try that next and I'm going to show you how that looks once I undid one or two or maybe even three of those uh, spools and then we're going to cut the last very big one in there. So um, yeah, it's going pretty good and uh, I'd say we would need another maybe 20 minutes to half an hour uh, to get that done. And um, yeah, I hope that it's going to yield us pretty good, but we're going to see about that. Okay, so um, I've got the rest of the motor cut. This is this massive inner spool, copper spool, um, that we saw before. And I cut it on, on both sides and it just kind of just like came off. You know, this is the this is the upper part that was on top of here. And um, yeah, pretty good. I'm now just going to push that out, probably with a hammer. It's the easiest way. And um, I hope that this is going to be around 3 kilos would be great because, you know, we've got all of that. That is, um, that was, I should rather say, um, that was the remaining three spools that um, we had on this transformer. So we've got all that. That's around 11 kilos. 
we've got this, which um, I took out of this massive round thingy. Um, I think you still remember that. And that's around four kilos. And I added around six kilos to our remaining, um, no, not remaining, to the 20 to the 21 kilos, I think it was, um, that we had yesterday. And so that's 27, that's 27 kilos. And um, we've got another like four here. So that's 31. And we've got another 11 kilos here that we already took out of this um, transformer. So that brings us to a total of 42 kilos plus whatever this is. So we already got way past our goal of 40 kilos. And um, we are probably going to end up at around 45, at least I hope so. But we'll see about that. I'm going to uh, get this out of um, this steel core now. And then we're going to weigh everything up and see how much money we actually made. Well, I guess we're only going to see that tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to the scrapyard. And um, yeah, I'm obviously going to show you whatever I get for all of that stuff. And um, yeah, so I would say let's get on with it. All right, so I'm now done processing that massive transformer that was basically right here yesterday and um, I'm filming that on the next day which is technically the third day of this channel existing and me filming videos but oh uh, well so um was right here now it's right there and um, this is everything that we got from that one massive transformer that I showed you that weighed approximately 40 to 50 kilos I don't know for sure because they didn't weigh it but that's what it felt like and that's what it felt like and um yeah we're gonna weigh this up now this stuff right here, this is really heavy. So I, I'm having high hopes for that. Um, as I said, I'm hoping for like 16, 17 kilos. Um, maybe more, we'll see. But um, yeah, so in the last video, you obviously um, already saw that we hit our target of 47 kilos by quite a bit. And, um, or 40 kilos by quite a bit, well, meaning 7 kilos. Uh, we got 7 kilos over our goal of 40 kilos, um, bringing us up to a total of 47 kilos, obviously. So, um, yeah, went pretty well. And um, I'm just now about to go to the scrapyard and cash all that in, but you already saw it in the last video, so I'm not going to bother you with that. And we are just now going to weigh up what... Um, we've got out of this one massive transformer and i've got my very handy crane scale here which i don't have a crane for but i'm just gonna lift it up like that and it's gonna work as well so um yeah i'm really excited to see how much we uh, got in the end so let's see here i don't know if you can see that very well Okay, so looks like we've got exactly 16 kilos. Well, that's pretty good, I would say. That's like, I don't know for sure because I'm not very familiar with that, but I would say it's like 33, 34 pounds. If someone of you knows that better, well, go ahead and tell me. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Obviously, 47 kilos, so um, can't really be unhappy with that. More than doubled my money on that deal, and it took me like realistically one and a half days of work and um yeah so that's pretty good i would say okay so i hope you enjoyed this little short video about me scrapping out this uh, very big transformer and i obviously also hope you enjoyed the last video and so yeah don't forget to like the video subscribe comment something if you want to comment something you know i'm, I'm gladly gonna answer that and i really hope that we'll meet again in the next video but we'll see you know and um yeah so have a nice week and bye bye